So I went to get the chicken food today and instead I found that. Oh, huh? He's so cute. I know, but he's he's stuck in there. He probably jumped in and can't get out. So let's let him out. Is he alive? <gasps> he's dead. Is he dead? Ah, da, da, da. Ah! Is he dead? He's dead, right? Mm -hmm. Aww. Hey, or he's just pretending. Sophia, you should learn from him. He probably got locked in there. That's so sad. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is update day, and also the day where Gabby does not brush her hair. Why are you not brushing your hair? Hairbrush is in the car, and I had a shower last night, and that's why my hair is like this. I wash my hair. Your hair is always like that. No, it's worse with the shower. So why can't you go to the car and get your brush? Cause Dad took his truck to work. Oh, it's in the truck. Suck it up. Did I'm you want her to walk to his work? No. Good morning, guys. Anyway, today's update day. Today I'm gonna update you on Gabby's new horse shopping, and I'm gonna update you on the Royal Winter Fair. Apparently today is shopping day because we don't have any chicken food. I didn't even know. All right, today sucks because everything is so disorganized. I hate days, you know the days when you wake up and everything is disorganized. So we need chicken food, I have to go get that. We need a shaving, so I have to go get that. But I don't have any money because the bank machine is this way, the chicken place is this way, so that's fine, I can pay with my debit card, but then we're gonna stop at the, the sales barn and I'm not gonna have any cash because you have to have cash there. And so that's disorganized and then we're trying to book our lessons for this week and because Sam is at work now and he can't just drive in whenever we want, because I can't drive in, like that's so messed up and it just, we have no food, which is probably the biggest problem. I need to go grocery shopping okay. and that's in a different direction. Okay. So yeah, we're just about to go and do disorganized stuff. What? What is it? Is it, what is it? Dear diary, it has been 40 minutes since I was abducted from the sleeping corner. This tiny human has taken me prisoner and I am being held against my will. I will remain calm and docile for the time, though I fear I will become alive with rage. <laughs> that, that is thin! Who did, who did that? The edit. That just made my whole day. Who is it? Day by day underscore lover 17. Day by day underscore lover 17. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's go do disorganized. All right, we are here. First stop, Ford Station, sales farm. Does not look that busy. But we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a little pony or a horse. I got no money, so we won't be buying anything. Yeah, oh, then no, maybe that's a good buying thing. Everything. I know. Well, that's the thing. Like, there's no bank machine anywhere on the way or close that I could go to. So, yeah, I guess they should they should fix that. They should put a bank machine in there. People will buy so many more things. Ten thirty. But the problem is, is that we either had to come now or not come because I have so much running around I have to do today. First stop, bathroom. Gab Gabby said there's another person here just looking for horses. People want cheap horses. I think that's what this place is for. All right, so definitely too early for horses. Aww. I actually saw an ad for baby pigs today and I was like, maybe we should get a pig. Whoa. So cute. They're like, don't make any fast moves. Look at these. Aw, I hate that they're so sad. So sad and so scared. Oh my gosh. Gabby wants the white stripes. Gabby wants the pig with the white stripes. See him right there? She wants you. Everything with farmers takes long to, like, doesn't just start at 9 a.m. because everybody has to do chores before life. What are they, pigs? No, they're goats. Goats are always friendlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aw, uh, you guys are super cute. Look at this guy, is, uh, well, is a bailing swine. Aw. Oh, look at him. He's like, how dare you talk about my ears. I want this one. Let me get down. Careful, you hear them starting? <coughs> 
I want to go in there. No, imagine Gabby in a pen, a tiny pen with all these goats that want to kill her with her horn, with their horns. But they would die. Okay. <laughs> they have the door open down there. <laughs> Let's go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> they have the door open at the back, so they're loading another more animals. Lock that. They're loading more animals, and Sophie is never gonna be caught alone with the sheep again. <laughs> it cracks me up. She hid behind me, and she's like, "Let's get out of here!" Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Come on, I like that one. See that I, one in the far yeah. corner? Can I go in there? Four months old. All girls. I like her. I like the one with the brown ears. I like her. Yeah. Okay. Her boar is not very friendly. We don't care. Wait, I think they're all boys. I know. I don't know. I don't understand goat language. She said, I thought she said they're all fillies. I don't know what that means. That, I thought that meant they're girls, but then she was talking about them and saying that one's a boy and that one's a boy. And I'm like, okay, that must mean they're boys. They are cute though, but we are not set up for goats and I used to want goats and I don't Because horses is a lot. Oh my goodness. That one is adorable. He kind of looks like Toby with his eyes Yeah, stand back away from the Toby like goat. I don't like Toby so yeah I'm running away. Toby does Toby doesn't like you either. It's funny because you guys Can <laughs> So he's terrified <laughs> oh, oh, he likes you. Oh, ooh, you stink. He says. <laughs> Weird thing is, is that like I love Stella, and Sophie loves Stella. We all love Stella, and Stella loves Gabby. Yeah, I know. I said it before. You guys disagreed with me. I feel like she does love us. I think she loves us all. But she really connects with Gabby. Yesterday, Sophie rode Stella and then Gabby rode her. And the minute Gabby got on her, this huge click. Like, it was like a light bulb moment in my head. Like, seeing out? Gabby ride Stella and then the rest of us ride her. I feel like... No clue. We're trapped in here. We're trapped. We're trapped in the sales barn. That's going to be the title. Because they're letting people in. Yeah, that could be the title. Horses. I mean, not horses, um, livestock. They're letting livestock in. Okay. Anyway, yeah, like, I feel like Stella, when we first tacked her up, I felt like she was so nervous because I feel like when we fall off, it affects some horses, like, a lot. And I think it really affected her when I... Mom's on the verge of tears. No, I'm not on the verge of tears. Yes, that's the it was like you this... used before you cried. No, it was like a life-altering moment when I saw Gabby and Stella yesterday. Like, Stella needs Gabby. Like... She has the confidence that Stella likes. She's the size Stella likes. I just, it was sh earth shattering. And some of you guys have said it. And um, Finn likes if, you. If, if, no, if let's go. If a goat comes in here, I'm going in there. We All right, let's go. Mom. Like, we're kind of in a hurry. Like, we... oh, come on. All right, fine, go in. Might as well do something. If it, if it, if it spears you with its horns, don't come crying to me. Or... Don't come crying to me. Just squish in. Okay, I'll just keep it. I get horns, Gabby. I'm leaving no, the door. If he comes at me with his horns, I will grab his horns. And <laughs> Said every single person who thought they were faster than a goat with horns. bunch of baby goats okay, when you're 12 it. you're invincible and you think nothing bad can happen to you okay, I'm kind of you think you could take a goat Hi. Can you take this away? I need to run that way. Goat. Hey, Stay here, please, would you? I'm like, no. He's too scared to hit the button. He knows. It's like our horses. He's scared. He's scared to rear up on me. Hmm. Come here. Come here. Stay here. He grabbed his horn. <laughs> Alright, I think you should get out. Yeah. Okay. okay. While he's distracted. Okay. He doesn't like me. Okay, lock it in there. He's he just scared. Me. And we're still trapped. Like 
Doesn't she know that we have chicken feed? We're finally free. All right, there's no horses. Let's go. Would you want a pig? Uh, a little. Pig stink. I don't, I don't want pot belly pigs. I want that pig though. You want a big, huge, giant no. pig? I want small, miniature pigs. <laughs> I, should, I should bring them here. So we're just getting ready to leave and Gabby spotted and Gabby spotted a lady with a cage filled with chihuahuas. Were they puppies? No. They're fully grown, like cookie size. That's horrible. But they had coats on. Oh. Alright, well let's go see if we can see them. You wanna go see if we can see them? Yeah, it's on the other side of the The whole truck is filled with chihuahuas. We're trying to Jeez. wait and see what she's gonna do. Because if she's selling chihuahuas, we do not want any more chihuahuas. The other day, Gabby said in the video that when Macy dies, she's getting a border collie. But we could do what we did with the puppy. And it's not that she wants Macy to die. I have like all my future dogs picked out. Not that I, I'm just not focusing on the fact that Toby's gonna die one day. Like it's gonna happen. And I know it will be super emotional. We're not super sensitive emotional people and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that she wasn't saying she wished her dog dead she was saying like in the future realistically i want a bigger dog and there's nothing wrong with that all right so now we're at the feed store um this is where we always get i get shavings on tuesdays and i'm gonna see if they have chicken food too so wish me luck all right so i got chicken food and five bags of shavings it might not seem like that big of a, of a deal to you guys, but yeah, this is still huge for me. Like, I'm not used to hard labor. <laughs> I mean, different kind of hard labor than what I'm used to, I guess. But yeah, I'm not used to this kind of life, and I'm... We are mastering it. We're doing well. It's brave of me to go out there and get animal feed. My door and the bee flew in. She's like, Close, <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had the camera facing the car. The girls were freaking out. There's a bee. The bee went out and the they went. The bee tried to attack me when I got a bag of shaving. Yeah, just try to attack her. <sighs> oh, all right, so yeah, now we've like been to Horde Station. We smell like pigs. So then we went to the feed store and we're all muddy and gross. And I just want to wash my hands so bad. The chickens are fed, the shavings are delivered. I packed my car all the way up and turned it around like I'm a happening woman now. With um, my help. So uh, now we're going to go and get grain. Like, yeah, we have to get grain still. And all of our, all, shop. and then grocery shop. So all the food that we need is not at the same store. And unfortunately, um, uh, we're going to smell by the time we get to the grocery store. But yeah, it's just the life of a farmer. Right, we are at the grain store. So that's the warehouse where I get all my grain from. They have shavings as well, but the shavings are like a dollar more a, a pack or maybe even more than a dollar more. And they're a lot more. Enough that it's just easier to buy my shavings at another store. So here we go. Are you guys having fun following along us, with us on our journey to farm? Because this is what it's like, you guys. Traveling, girls just sitting there on their phones all morning, wishing they could be at school. Where'd my keys go? This is the problem. I'm always losing my keys. Oh man. Now what? All right, trouble.
right, so we're already eating. <laughs> Is it good? Every time we come to this store, the girls that make me buy this cheesy bread, show it to them. Turn it over. It is so fresh and so yummy and they just eat it like crazy. You got one? Do you want this thing? Sure. Do you guys see what I see? I feel like Gracie really wants to go in the field with the boys. I think that's what she's telling me and I want to put her there. The problem is I'd have to acclimatize her to grass, which is not that big of a deal. It would just take time. And the problem with that is that the boys don't have time because they're going to be boarded soon. And so it would be like dumb to get her used to being with the boys for her to have to go back with the girls. But I think that she would do good with the boys. It's just <sighs> sad. It is Tuesday. And we pretty much have so many things booked for the rest of this week that today's the day everything has to happen. Uh, you guys are wondering about... She just at me. You guys are wondering about Gabby's new horse. So basically what's going to happen is that Fiona found this horse. She thinks that he would be perfect for her. We need to try him. Um, she's not in a rush because he's being sold privately. Nobody else is really interested in him. It's not like a big rush thing. Um, so we're just gonna go and see him when she's available. And I could like be bugging her. Like, you know that it's terrible lesson let's, one day. Let's go look at the other horse. It's an hour and a half each way. So three hours, you guys, to go see this horse. And I'm not in any hurry. Are you in a hurry to get it's this not horse? Three hours. It's one and a half hours. No, it's one and a half hours. No, it's not. It's only 45 minutes for half. Mm -mm. Yeah, Fiona said that. Okay, so it's an hour and a half both ways. I don't know. It's far. And it's a lot of work and a lot of stress. Are you in a hurry to go and see this horse? Yes. Are you in a hurry to go and see this horse? You are? So basically, I'm not the kind of person to be like, let's do it now. Yeah, I'm totally that kind of person. But because buying a horse is so stressful for me, I'm You're just letting it. Water the boys. I'm going to get them water right now. I am just what letting it play out. Happen? So that's what's going to happen. The minute I know when we're going to see it, the Gabby's new horse, potential new horse, you guys are going to know. So don't worry, just put it out of your mind. And then the minute I know, I promise I'll tell you guys. So a Royal Winter Fair, you guys are wondering about that. Or if you're not wondering, you guys should be wondering. Because basically, I'm taking water out to the boys. Let's see if I can carry and vlog. So basically, we are going on November the 2nd. And that is this Saturday. We're going with a bunch of girls. We're going with a bunch of people from our barn. And we're staying in a hotel. It was a water slide and it's just gonna be amazing, a of fun. So if you guys see us there, make sure you come up and say hi. This spoon was in their field. Finn, <laughs> have you been stealing stuff out of our kitchen cupboards? <laughs> He's like, it wasn't me. Oh, you're such a cute baby. All right, let's see. We're gonna just take a look at Storm's foot. This is the side that he was- This is the thrush. There. Oh, it looks worse. Uh, no, it doesn't. Just wait, let me see. Mom, he's moving his foot. It's kind of hard. But look it, because it's sore. No, it's because he wants to kick Finn out of the Just empty this thing, Mom. Okay, lift it out again. Mom, they just switch over the bucket. I know, I'm going to put water in there. Where are you spraying the stuff? In there. Oh. Mom, don't. I need to feel it. <sighs> Does it look sore? No. It's wet though. His feet are wet. It's because there's mud. There's mud in there. Alright, they don't look that bad look. actually. Mud. I don't know how to get you guys to see it. Alright. Oh. Hi. It's not. It's, it's, it's the camera. It's YouTube. It's our friends actually. Stella, are you famous, Stella? No, she's just regular. You're just a regular girl. Probably um, famous. You think she's partly famous? Yeah. I wish you were famous. You're famous to me, Stell. Anyway, yesterday I really felt when we were tacking up Stella like she had anxiety. I felt like she was nervous and was remembering the fall. And it occurred to me like, what if Storm only goes fast when there's no saddle or rider on him and he does his old owner told me the same exact thing that he can go so fast unless you put a saddle on him and a rider and then he slows right down what if he's afraid that we're gonna fall like what because he is that kind of connection horse he does love us like what if he's afraid we're gonna fall and what if Stella doesn't like to ride with me 
because they don't have the confidence that she needs to be confident. And I really believe that, you guys. Hi. Like, when Hi. I saw Gabby riding her yesterday, it was like this big, huge light bulb went off in my head because she feels confident with a confident rider, and I'm just not that. Pony getting her work on. Are you going to get lunch? What's happening with you today? She's like, I don't know, but this is always happening to me. Always coming and groomed. Yeah, always getting groomed and played with. Do you listen before you did not have a little girl to love you and now you have a little girl to love you a big girl a big girl and brooklyn and brooklyn and me i feel like gracie i don't do that much with gracie oh, i feel like gracie hasn't settled in completely about, yet um, chestnut picking all right what are your thoughts about chestnut picking do you like it gracie i know stella likes it Just, no like everybody's thoughts oh, in the comments in the comment section. Tell us what you feel about chestnut picking. Mom, you can keep those chestnuts. Oh, that's neat, because watch. Apparently, other horses think that it's like so fabulous to smell other people's chestnuts. Like, No, we... Storm thinks it's fabulous to smell his it's... chestnuts. Does he? That's yeah. like gross. Are we bordering on two TMI? Do you know what TMI means? Too much information. Is that too much information? That people no. like to smell their own chestnuts? Horses like to smell their own... She's just sniffing away, and she's mesmerized. That's Stella's chestnut. Does it feel good when you pick off their chestnuts? No, I think that's like a way to like get to know each other. Kind of like how and dogs smell each other's pee. He's, he's a and there's a Gracie's? Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Put them in both different hands, and let's take a look and see. Um, Stella's. Okay, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer your own? Oh, she prefers Stella's. See? Now let's go see. Mix them up in my hand. Okay, here, put them in both of your hands. Stella, whose chestnut do you prefer? It's not I for eating, just smell. Just smell. 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 Just smell. Put it near her nose. She's, She's like, I just want food. <laughs> here, let me see. Stella only wants food. Okay, smell. Smell. Uh-oh. Oh, Stella, you are not good at smelling chestnuts. Which one do you prefer? Gracie's. Yeah, I think she prefers Gracie's chestnut because you can smell your own. Smell it, Sophie. Mm. Smell it. <laughs> you put one saddle on. No, so smell gross. your hands after you. Oh! Uh, why did somebody warn me? Oh! Uh, well, it's that thing. Smell your hands after you chestnut hit. Oh, uh, it's one of those smells that if it goes deep enough in, it gets in my lungs. <laughs> it's in my lungs. <laughs> Don't smell chestnut. No, smell no. <laughs> I do not pick chestnuts and I do not smell chestnuts. A friend once told me to keep chestnuts, put them in a little bag and then let your horses smell them. And it's like a little game for them or whatever. It makes them, I don't know. So I'm gonna keep them in this little bucket and save them for when our horses are bored and have nothing to do and we'll play a little game of smell the chestnut. Guess the chestnut. <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.